Welcome to the video and today we're going to be unboxing the Amron 100D from Aperture. And it is part of the Amron line. So it's not as high quality as the Aperture Lightstorm series, but it still has a lot of output. So let's get started unboxing this. First, let's get the outside box open. Like that. See what we've got inside of here. We have some foam protecting the case on every side. And then we have the light box. So there you go. If you want some foam, it comes with it. There's one on the bottom as well. And then here is the light box itself. This is the Amron 100D, as I said earlier. It comes with the light, the reflector, and the power cables. So let's open this up. Here we go. Nice box. And just as some background, I have used the Aperture 300D before uh, extensively, and I will be comparing that to this. Okay. Um, not with the actual light, but some of the stuff that I know about it. Okay, so some foam on the top, and then here's what comes inside of that, right here. We have some Aperture stickers, which is, you know, you can put this on your car, or water bottle or something. We've got the manuals for it, um, a Citus Link app, QR code, which I'll get to later. And then here we have the little manual and, um, yeah, the manual. So. There's that, and then inside what have we got? We got another piece of foam protecting the light. We have the reflector right here. We pop this off. This is the hyper reflector. It's pretty nice. There is a little hot spot in the middle of it, so it's not perfectly even. We got the light source itself right here. Let me get it out. Not too big, but very powerful. So we've got that. And then on the other side, we have the power cable right here. Just one half of it. And the other half. And then the silica gel. And that is everything that's in the box. So. It's a nice box. There's no actual carrying case with it like the other Aperture lights, but if you want to use this as a case, you could. It's just not as easy to do as those nice Aperture ones. Um, so, But it is a way cheaper light source, so I don't care. It'd be nice, but there isn't one. So let's look at this. What have we got here? Let's start with, because we already talked about this and this, but um, power cable is a oh it's a three pin um 12 volt power it's um is it 12 volt or is it 24 volt i don't know anyway it's three pin dmx on one side so you could probably take any um dmx or xlr cable they're all the same and extend this if you want um the other light sources such as the 300d and um the 120d use five pin so you can't use regular XLR or um, DMX cables to extend it. But with this, you can, I believe, which is nice. Um, then we have the other side of this. This is just a standard um, power cable that can plug in. But, but what's nice about this is that it is a locking connector. So once you put it in and lock it, it's not coming out. So if you, like this, if you, for example, hang this on a C-stand like this, you this will not be coming out. So this side is locking and this side is locking so very nice so there is no control box like the other lights but everything is built into the light itself we've got a, a clamp right here to move that which can collapse go onto the top of the c-stand boom and then we have our bones mount right here locking pin just like the other lights and there's our light source pop reflector onto it and 
our power goes right there. And there's the on and on switch. There's to change the intensity. And this is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth pairing button. And you can also change the to the different modes like lightning, explosion, TV, whatever. So yeah, not a lot to it. It is very powerful, 100 watt. I think it's a little bit brighter than that, but um, yeah, it's a little bit brighter than the Aperture 120D and not quite as bright as the 300D from Aperture. So um, as far as the price point goes, um, it's pretty good. And the build quality isn't as high as those other light storm lights because it's cheaper. But if you're looking for a small, compact light source that is very bright and cheap, these are probably the way to go. If you need something that's durable and gonna be used all the time in different situations, I would highly recommend an Aperture Light from the LightStorm. So they just discontinued the 120D, which is kind of sad, but the 300, 600, and 1200D are all amazing options, and the build quality is very good on those. They can also be battery powered with the V-mount plate on the side, which I've used before and is very easy to use. So anyway, that is probably about it for this video. Um, I will be making a review on this light later. Obviously, I've not used it yet, just could, unboxed it. Um, so that's this. And then after this video, I am going to be filming the, the video on the Light Dome Mini. No, the Light Dome SE. It's a softbox. And I'll be comparing that to my usage of the Light Dome. What was it? The Aperture Light Dome. Uh, what was it? I forgot it. I'll tell you about that Light Dome in another video. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you please consider subscribing, it would help me out a lot. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you.